statement every year. Mr. Trump made known through Alan Weisselberg that he wanted his net worth reflected on the statements to increase. A desire Mr. Weisselberg and others carried out year after year in their fraudulent preparation of the statements. And when asked about these meetings under oath as part of our deposition, both men, Mr. Trump and Mr. Weisselberg, invoked their Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination, and they refused to answer. When asked under oath if he, Mr. Trump, continued to review and approve the statements after becoming President of the United States in 2017, Mr. Trump again invoked his Fifth Amendment privilege and refused to answer. Over the course of our investigation, we found that Mr. Trump, his children, the Trump Organization, created and used more than 200 false and misleading asset valuations on his statement of financial condition over that 10-year period. They issued statements that were in clear violation of general accepted principles in the general accounting principles in the United States, despite representing that these statements were prepared in accordance with these principles. Some of the common tactics they used include representing that Mr. Trump had cash on hand that he did not have, ignoring critical restrictions that would significantly impact property values when setting valuations, changing the methodology used to value properties from year to year without reason or notice, and using vastly different methods to value different